Hello, my name is Annalena Kronzbein. I'm a PhD student at the Leibniz Institute of Freshwater Ecology and Inland Fisheries, and I'm going to present you my main experiment during my PhD. In Berlin, bank, bank filtration is used to produce drinking water. And what a coincidence, my PhD topic is dealing with bank filtration. I'm investigating um, what effect benthic organisms have on the purification efficiency during bank filtration. In order to analyze that, I have a lab column set up in our institute um, where I simulate bank filtration and um, the purification efficiency during this process by adding diff different um, trace organic compounds. I add mussel species, quagga, um, the quagga mussel, and a macrophyte species, um, Nutol's waterweed, on top of the sediment in my lab columns. Those two species, the quagga mussel and Nutol's waterweed, are commonly found in Berlin's lake. My experiment is um, standing in climate chambers. Um, the good thing about the climate chambers is that with this panel we can control the light um, cycle and the temperature. Um, so my big climate chamber um, where the columns are inside is set to 18 degree water temperature. This is Elodea nutalii or um, Nutol's waterweed um, which we collected from a lake and um, you can see here that it already starts to root and it's kept in water and um, this, um, the plants uh, for my experiment are already planted so we have a bit of sediment from the lake and um, some of the shoots in there. Here I keep my mussels, they are quagga mussels from Lake Möbelsee, um, Dracaena rostriformis bugensis. Um, they are kept in the lab for almost a year. Um, they are fed with fish feed and uh, dried algae powder once a week um, and then we exchange, exchange the water and um, they get fresh air via this ventilation system. This is the centerpiece of my experiment. Um, in this climate chamber are 12 columns and um, every column is supplied with water from um, this tank. Um, it's a roughly 300 liter tank um, which is filled with um, standard tap water and um, the water is gently um, bubbled um, and from the tank um, you can see you can see those tubes so um, the, the water is supplied um, via those um, peristaltic pumps um, every column receives um, the same amount of water um, right now I have a flow of 0.1 um, meter per day. The water flow through the column is from top to bottom. So the, the column receives the water, it flows through the sediment and then um, through this pipe which is directed upwards and um, with this overflow I'm ensuring a constant water table and then the flo water flows through the tube and into the outlet of the climate chamber. Um, here you can have a look on a single column. And here's the water supply. Then we have uh, um, a gentle bubbling of, this, um, of the water column. Then we have roughly 30 centimeter of water column. And behind this black foil is the sediment, uh, which is uh, covered in order to prevent li light um, coming to the sediment. Um, these white um, ports are sampling ports and um, with those so-called risin samplers which are in the sediment I'm able to sample pore water at different depths. In order to measure oxygen I have these um, oxygen sensitive foils in every column um, with these uh, foils and a special camera, I'm able to measure um, oxygen within the surface water and the sediment. Each, each um, sensor stripe is 15 centimeter long and um, one centimeter in width. Um, and with the system, I'm able to visualize my oxygen content in the different compartments. Here you can see my oxygen measuring setup. I have a camera with external LEDs. Um, the LEDs um, emits 
emit light at a certain wavelength which um, excites the oxygen sensitive stripes and the camera then captures the emitted light of the stripes. This is another oxygen measurement, measurement approach. Um, it's called an oxygen microsensor. Um, it's made of glass attached to a bar and with that you're able to measure the, the oxygen at the sediment water interface. Um, with the setup which you can see in the background we are able to measure in micrometer steps um, the oxygen content of the surface water or the sediment. Here you can see in a time lapse how the sensor touches the sediment surface and then goes into the sediment. Afterwards you receive such a profile.